Hey everybody, how's it going? I come to you today with another small project for the 1989 Honda Prelude. When I got the car, the power mirror that came with the car, you may remember that I actually took both of them off and painted them to match the car. But what I may have not have mentioned was the actual mirror glass on the mirror, and I'll show you over here. The mirror glass itself is uh, very loose, and it's kind of wedged in there with a piece of cardboard at this point, just to prevent it from kind of flopping when I drive. So, I have been on the lookout for a clean and inexpensive replacement mirror. I was able to find one on eBay. I think I paid 32 bucks for this, which considering the um, age of the car, I mean, this thing is it's dirty and it's pretty scuffed up but that doesn't seem to matter because I'm going to paint it but most importantly the actual mirror glass itself is nice and uh, solid in there it's not becoming detached so what I'm going to do today is go ahead and clean and scuff this thing uh, spray some adhesive promoter on it and then give it a nice coat of the white paint and then I'll switch out that damaged mirror that's on the car for this one so stay tuned plans when I was looking at this thing closely, I see now that this uh, the, the mirror base itself is cracked right there, which isn't that big of a deal because the whole thing comes apart. So what I'm gonna do is just uh, not use this mirror base, use the one that I already have on my factory mirror because there's nothing wrong with it. And then I'll uh, just paint, I'll, I'll paint everything and then put everything back together and it, I just checked and my 89 mirror is exactly the same as this one that appears to have come off a 90. So I'll just go ahead and uh, I've, I've got it all cleaned up. This thing was so dirty. A couple of minor scuffs on it. I'll sand those down. I'm gonna get this thing ready for paint. Okay, out here in the uh, world famous and illustrious paint booth, I've got a couple nice coats on this, waiting for it to dry. Sorry, apparently everybody in the neighborhood has decided to get something delivered today at this moment, so there's delivery trucks everywhere. Anyway, just letting this dry, and then I'll flip it over and do a coat on the other side, and this should be done. All right, this is the new mirror mated to the old base. And as you can see, the color matches uh, perfectly because it's the same paint that I used to uh, paint the mirrors originally. So I've got it all put back together, and it's the same wiring harness. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw this on the car, and then it should be done. Uh, the only thing I might have to do is move this mirror down and then maybe spray some paint down there, because it's really hard to get paint uh, you know, beyond there to get good coverage, but it should be fine. I'm not worried about it. So this is a nice mirror glass that doesn't uh, vibrate when it moves. And... Uh, they said that this mirror was tested before they sent it, so it's working, so I'm going to be pretty upset if I went all, through all this work and the motor itself doesn't work, but I guess I'll just live with it since I never really adjust these, but um, here's the old one, and the new one overall is in better condition. See, the old one had some gouges on it, so, and there's the cardboard that I had to shove in there to prevent this thing from, and it's, as you can see, it's still moves like crazy so it'll be nice to get rid of that I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on the car the mirror is done it works I tried it uh, the glass doesn't doesn't bounce like the other one did very happy with the results so one more thing that's done on the prelude I guess, like I said, 32 bucks I paid for this thing. Not bad considering that you can't get parts for this car anymore. Really hard to come by. Parts in decent shape, I should say. One more thing I did get was actually... I ended up ordering a leather shift boot for this car. And uh, this is the one I got off of eBay, the one that comes from England. I think this thing was $13.99 or something. 
uh, delivered, shipped, got it in a few weeks. Really good quality. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on and I'm just not happy with uh, this kind of suede looking one with the red uh, thread. Just not happy with that. It just doesn't really match anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that leather one on. I'll leave that, leave that same shift knob. So I guess I'll go ahead and tack that onto this video. Uh, one more thing I was gonna say is that I might as well just change the name of this channel to the uh, mirror replacement channel because it seems like that's all I'm doing. Replace, took the mirrors off, painted them on this car, did the Miata, did this one again, put different mirrors on the Wrangler, all kind of stuff going on with mirrors. Okay, I've got this part of the center console taken out and nothing wrong with this this one at all. It just uh, decided I just don't like it for the you know the looks of this car. So here is the original factory one. I still have it. You can see that it's ripped. But here's the new genuine leather one. So I think it just uh, it's better look more more of what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this on. It's got uh, there's four screws at the bottom that hold it in. It's kind of a pressure fit, similar to the Miata. Very simple. This part of the project is done. Went together very easily. The only thing I'm not super crazy about is the way I had to use a, a zip tie to kind of bunch it together up on top. Um, I think it's just due to the way, uh, I think this was designed to have the factory knob installed but there's there's no plastic catch inside so it actually can't be installed but i'll mess around with it um it stays nice and i guess it's okay i mean it is very high quality project or product for 13 14 bucks can't complain anyway that'll do it for this project i'm waiting for the weather to clear and then i'll start working on the miata again over there under the cover it's just been colder it's been raining today's the first nice day we've had in a couple weeks where it hasn't been uh, too cold and nasty um, this weekend's gonna be nice but then it's we're supposed to get another storm next week so the prep for that thing's gonna have to wait because you, know, you got to have nice weather because I'm not doing that in the garage I'm gonna do it outside so that'll do it for today thanks for watching catch you on the flip side Sounds good.